So nice to meet you and uh, explain us how do a creative brain work. <laughs> I was trying to have some hypothesis, I don't know really, but I know that it is something unique to us. And so there must be something different. Although when you look at a single cell, it looks similar in many ways. So my idea was that something about the connectivity, not the, not, not the number, but the connectivity between regions that became much more intense in humans, both in the large scale between regions and also locally, this connectivity enabled the system to go into new, new situations. This was one idea, the connectivity. The other one that is a new idea is that noise. And when I speak noise, I mean electrical noise that is random, that is spontaneous. This noise is very important for a machine not to get stuck and repeat itself. So noise is important and I think we in our brain must have a special generation of noise. But this is speculation. So do you think that creativity is, uh, we can't learn it because it's a physical question or it's possible to learn also creativity or, or improve? Well, certainly we can improve creativity, that's no question about that because the brain, the brain is a machine and that's the beauty of it, is expecting to change. It wants to change if you allow it. If you restrict it very much, very, very much, then it will become good in one thing, which is important but then you don't do the connection. Now, why Leonardo's Da Vinci brain is so special, this we cannot say, or Einstein. But I'm sure that each one of us, absolutely sure that each one of us, if we would not be so suppressed by expectation, society, be like this, what happens to you? Why are you this and not this? If there will be an openness to change, to exploration, then all of us will be absolutely more, more creative than we are, and there are proofs because you can stimulate the brain, stimulate and generate creativity in people that I usually do not know to draw. So, I mean, three concrete suggestions to stimulate our creativity. Stop having museums all over the world that are only science museum here and art museum there. It's bad, this dichotomy, because the child thinks that the world is either science or art. It's not. Put it in the same space. Teach the student both art and science. Do, do magazines that half of them is hard and half of them is science. Con you have to connect fields and then the brain will be better connected and more creative for sure. Thank you very much. Welcome.